Hey, how's it going, mate? We're talking about Python today. I was recording this, but I'm in the recording, so I'm re recording it. It should hopefully be better the second time. First off, Python was developed by Guido Van Rossum. He developed Python, and he's now currently working for Google. Google hired him. So you might think, hey, develop Python language, develop programming language, and you can just kind of retire and smoke cigars. Not so. He's working for the big boys now. If Google is the big boys, which in technology I guess they are. Android's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. But whatever. This is about Python and the range function. It's the built in function of Python. How does it work? Range function goes range, open parentheses, A, comma, B, end parentheses. Now, what does the A, B mean? Mathematically, it simply means this A is less than or equal to X, and less than b for integers, for all integers. So that means that the a value is inclusive, the output will include a, and the b value is exclusive, the output will not, inc not include b. And that's a 9, not, a, not an a or a b. So the, the output of range 2, comma 9 for the integer values of a and b is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the range works with integers. It's inclusive of the a value, 2, and exclusive of the b value, in this case, 9. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Awesome. Oh, it's awesome. How to plug that into a little bit more complicated example using a list. First off, these examples are derivatives of examples provided on PyDocs, which is python.org documentation tutorials. It's not you know, hyper exclusive or <laughs> inclusive or whatever. So you can get uh, more details like this from you know, Python.org. Here's a list. It's, it contains one, two, three, four, five elements. Assign the variable of A. And each uh, element is a string, but that's kind of irrelevant. So then plugging this into a for loop, range plus four. After this, you'll see a vid, uh, a clip that shows very complex usage of nested for loops and crazy arrangedness and oh it's awesome but for now this is intermediately complex in school so for i in range um, i comma length of a that's a length function l n a so that's kind of cool you could substitute um, for for l n a for length of a in this and have the exact same result. But this kind of calculates that for you. If you added more phrases to this, Mary had a super mini little awesome Python program, whatever, that would update the length of that. This is one, two, three, four. Oh, no, sorry. It's five. The length is five. Sorry. So this is five. And this is a way of saying the length of a list. There's five elements in that. So it calculates that. And then it prints um, i, and then the ith element. Whoops. No, nope, that should not be that. That should be a bracket i. There we are. And this is going to print the ith element of a. So the output is going to be for 0 in range. Print 0, 0. And what's the 0th element? There. Right? And then moves on to 1. OK, so prints 1. And then what's the 1th one, element? Hat. Then two, a, three, Python, four, program. And if you know anything about lists or arrays in Java or C or lists, it starts uh, counting with zero, zero, one, two, three, four, and it prints that off in sequence with combining the range function and the for loop. So that's that for that. Um, Shortly, you see a very complex example of nested for loops. By now, you should be understanding the range function. It's fairly simple, especially if you understand what it is mathematically. It's inclusive, the A value, exclusive, the B value for all integers in between A and B. Um, less than or equal to A, or less than or equal to, with A less than or equal to X, X less than uh, B, exclusive B, inclusive A. Totally good. Oh, it's awesome! Hey.